everything that you need to know is in this book. I promise you, you won't regret it. Link is in the description down below if you are interested. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Anyway, enjoy the video. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Hopefully you're all having a fantastic day. Hopefully you had a good Christmas and a happy new year. Because uh, when this video comes out, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be the new year when this comes out. So happy 2021. Um, this would be the first video of 2021 as well, so happy days. Right, today, so today um, we are, well, we're going down to M20, um, M20 in Kent, uh, Operation Stack. Uh, we're in a convoy. I don't know if you can quite see, but the truck in front is one of our trucks. The truck in front of that is a JK transport truck, uh, who I used to work for, but they're working for us today. And then the truck in front of that is a, a uh, another one of our trucks, Harry and Sons truck, with a JK transport, uh, JK transport flatbed on. Sorry, I should say. <laughs> so we've got four trucks, all in convoy, three are ours. Uh, one is uh, JK transport, um, and we're going down to Operation Stack. Uh, and on board we've got, well I've got three blocks of three, so nine basically, well it's three units and each unit has got three toilets in, like toilet facilities, like you get at festivals. Um, so I've got nine toilets on board, the truck in front of me I believe has got nine toilets on board as well. The JK transport truck's got, I think it's just like water containers, um, and then the, the our, our lead truck which is the boss actually, our boss and the owner. <laughs> so I've got to build my best behavior today. Um, that's got shower blocks in, on, I believe. So um, yeah, all four of us are heading down there now. You can probably hear there's some rattling going on over there. I don't know if you can quite hear. That's a that's a Christmas present from the um, from the boss and the owner. So um, yeah, it's rattling away. I didn't realize it was in here <laughs> um, until, uh, until I started driving down the road and it was rattling away. <laughs> San Miguel, if you must know. San Miguel. So yeah, um, that's what we're doing first thing this morning. We're heading straight down to Kent. And then, me and the truck in front, we're heading in convoy up to Tilbury Docks where we've got to get loaded with two speedboats each. So four speedboats in total. And we've got to take them all the way down to Christchurch. All the way down to Christchurch, which I believe is a delivery for tomorrow morning. So today should be lots of driving. Um, a lot of miles under our belt with some interesting loads. So um, yeah, stay tuned. I'll, uh, I'll see what footage I can get at uh, this place we're delivering to. There's, I'm hearing rumours that it might be a government facility, which would uh, which would indicate no filming. So, but we will see. We're aiming we're aiming to go to the truck stop <laughs> in Ashford. Is it Ashford? Ashford truck stop, something like that. Anyway, I will see you in a little while. See you in a bit. So I'm not entirely sure, but I think to the left of me is is where Operation Stack was. I'm not sure. Um, I could be wrong there, but it makes sense that all the trucks would be parked up on, on either side. From what I've seen, trucks are parked up on either side of the road and then like the middle bit was like the access road, if that makes sense. Um, so it kind of, kind of makes sense for it to be there. I am on the M20 right now. So yeah, I think, I think that is operation stack there. Um, they've made this carriageway sort of two way, either way. Uh, and then four lanes on that side to, to stack lorries on either side with a, with a big bit down the middle. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's Operation Stack there. Um, we're still 25 minutes away from uh, Ashford Truck Stop, which is uh, where I was told we're heading towards. But I don't know exactly where we're actually dropping these off yet. No idea. Um, we're just following the convoy. <laughs> But yeah, we're nearly there. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool to uh, to actually see the operation or where the operation stack potentially was. Definitely makes sense for it to be there. Pretty cool. Sit back, enjoy the ride. We're on our way. One track, no turning back. Forget yesterday. Okay, I think this is actually Operational Stack, look. 
all the trucks are parked up on the left. So they're still parked up. Bit of a bit of a gap here, look, there's more here. People in army, military stuff here. <laughs> Some sort of uh, traffic light system get down here, look, with potential border checks. I think they're border checking. Some, I don't know. This is, just, this is me just guessing. Looks like paperwork's being checked before they're being allowed to continue on. That's what it looks like. But yeah, um, for miles and miles we were at the back of it, and that's just the start of it. So, um, Either that's the last lot yet to go, or it's the uh, start of a new lot. But apparently what we're delivering is uh, in anticipation for it to happen again or something. So, um, yeah, don't know what's happening. I reckon they got a holding site or something parked up about four miles away. So we're going to make our way there. We're nearly there now. Okay. Oh wow. We got some flushing, flushing. <laughs> we got some flashing lights down here. Uh, my colleague is in front. We got the two trucks over there just waiting for us. Look. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're actually delivering to this place or whether we've uh, got to be escorted in somewhere. So I don't know. No idea. So there looks to be a lady in the uh, hut. Could be a man. Looks like a lady. Um, the boss is currently talking. So no, I don't think you can see. No, you can't see from where you are. But yeah, the boss is talking to her at the moment. Uh, or him. Presumably saying the four of us are doing this thing. Well, it was a lady, so I was right about that. <laughs> Morning. Yeah. Thank you, cheers. Right, we're here. We're all lined up. What is this about? That was the tariff. Oh, okay. If we're here more than an hour, it's a pound. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Guys, right, so we just uh, just parked up at the moment at the Ashford truck stop. Uh, these are the four trucks in question. It's got the boss over there. JK and then uh, there's me on the end so yeah we're just gonna wait here now before we uh, find out where to go and then we'll carry on right so we are now leaving apparently it's just up the road Ugh. put my seatbelt on while we'll uh, while we're going slow I'm just gonna put in our destination Tilbury Docks <gasps> so I think I give this I think
Oh yeah. Cheers. See ya. Oh, bump. Yeah, so I believe it's over uh, over the first roundabout and then right, I think he said. We'll soon see. When we stop, I'm gonna clean that mirror. Uh, not the mirror, the window. The window itself is clear enough, but it's just when the sun's on it. A bit dirty. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's a good two hour drive up to uh, up to Tilbury Docks from here, according to the sat nav. I thought it'd only be about an hour and a half. And the guy I'm going with said it'd be less than that. <laughs> um, turns out it's gonna be longer. <laughs> There's those um, diggers and stuff I said, but I don't think it's there, so we're still going on up ahead. Okay, so we have... <laughs> We have been driving now for a, uh, a fair few while. Oh, what's that over there? This is definitely something construction related going on over here. What are they? I thought the car behind me then was going to follow me in, uh, but he isn't. Um, there's definitely something construction related going on in here. There's lots and lots of activity. It's definitely going to be a hard hat site as well. Let's get the hard hat out ready. I can already see people with hard hat. Um, <laughs> this is uh, so, something is definitely going on in here. What is all this stuff? There's like cabins or something over there. They're all lined up very specifically. Oh, almost as if like it's tolls or something. I don't, I don't know. Can you see? you see what I'm talking about? It's like, it's almost as if it's like tolls, like a toll booth or something. Let me get my phone out, I'll film it on my phone and see, zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer. I mean, it's like very toll booth-like. No idea. somebody and uh, apparently this is uh, going to be like the new immigration centre so anyone who wants to go to Europe from the UK has to come in here uh, with all their papers. It's a massive massive area as you can see. Yeah there, there I am usually getting these straps off we're all together. Uh, I don't know what's beyond that because I've not been over there yet but yeah it's massive here. <laughs> Okay, you join me on the M20. We have left, stay at home, tearful, shut up. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, um, we're heading now towards um, Tilbury Docks to get loaded with these speedboats. 
Uh, and then we go from there, really. Yeah, we're, we're in a 50, mate, and you're going too fast. Very fast. Mr. Estonia. You, uh, you carry on doing your... Uh, you're too fast. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Let's go to Timber Dogs. See you in a bit. Right, let's go get these boats. We're just turning up to the docks now. Let's make sure we can actually get in before we cross. We've got to go to 47C. Sea cotton. There we go. Look, looks like it's here. I think we're going in here, Dave. There's a building there that says Seacon. Now we've both got to get in and out the way somewhere, but we're not blocking anyone else. We've got two loading bays here, so I guess uh, we're parking these loading bays each. Makes sense. Happy days. Right. <laughs> Let's go and get these boats. See you in a bit. Wanna be the person that you call up when you're down. Wanna be the first who knows all of your deepest secrets. Can I be the one who wakes you up before you miss your ride? Cause I wanna be close to you. And I wanna show you something new. You gotta know Every day I got your back Yeah, you can count on me for that So put your hand in mine I will be there every day When you're sick of the climb I will make sure it's okay Oh, you didn't ask for any of this But we reach for the sky Cause we're flying colors now Right, we're done. Just putting in the postcode into the sat nav. That can come off because we're now done as it's off. Right, so we've now got two boats on us. Two boats and a um, combined weight of one tonne. <laughs> they're so light. They're so light. They're, they're quite big, but they're so light. <laughs> um, our colleague has got a puncher. I do believe he's just poured out to get to a more uh, suitable place. There he is there, look. So he's just pulling in there, look. He's got his, uh, his middle axle on his trailer has uh, gone down. <sighs> big bump. So uh, he's gonna have to wait for repair. I, on the other hand, cannot stand sitting around doing nothing. Just can't, I just can't, just can't deal with it. I just, I wanna finish. I wanna get to the destination, park up, card out, finish. That's what I wanna do. Um, we got a three hour drive to our destination. I'm probably gonna stop somewhere on the way down and get some food uh, from the garage or something. So that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, we, um, three hours away we've got to go to a river shack looks like um, tourist attraction sort of beach boat hire single track almost lane in town center <laughs> looks like it's gonna be fun tomorrow <laughs> um, and I'm gonna park outside Travis Perkins in Christchurch because I've delivered to Travis Perkins in Christchurch before so I know that there's uh, space and by the time I stop and get some food and get there, we've gone five o'clock, so I'm hoping everyone would have gone home. And I then hopefully can get like one of the first spaces available. I think Dave's gonna come and meet me down there later because he didn't know anywhere to park. It just so happens I've been to Travis Perkins in Christchurch that I know that particular that place. So it's kind of like an industrial area. And we've got to go past it anyway to get to our destination. So we're not going out of our way whatsoever. 
So, happy days, happy days. I believe we're going to go around 25 M3. Let me just double check. Yeah, I'm 25 M3. All the way down towards Bournemouth. Um, so, yeah. Happy days. Nice three hour drive. Um, I get some food. You probably see me. Yeah. Actually, it'll probably be dark, let's be honest, when, uh, when we see each other next. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Right, slight change in plan. <laughs> As predicted, though, it is dark out now. Um, but yeah, ever so slight change in plan. Um, I got a phone call from the colleague Dave, who uh, got a, a puncture. By the way, I'm not even sure how far away behind me he is. <laughs> he could be an hour behind, he could be two hours behind, I don't know. Um, anyway, he phoned the company up, and apparently uh, we are allowed, supposedly, to park in the pay and display car park overnight. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're heading, we're heading straight there. We're going to park in the car park. There's a coach section. So I'm going to plonk it right where the coaches are supposed to go. And then I'm going to nip in and just see them because they close at half past five, apparently. Um, and I'm going to be there at quarter past five. So I don't, I don't expect to be offloaded in the slightest, but you never know. You never know. I'd still stay there for the night if they, uh, if they did offload me. But uh, yeah, we're getting into Christchurch now. Where it's starting to get a little bit tighter. Uh, we've got to go down some country roads. You just come to a complete stop. Don't know why. There's enough room for a car and a, <laughs> and a lorry. And they just come to a complete stop. If our driver was not happy. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and get there. Uh, before they close. Just to see them. And, uh, you know, no biggie. No biggie if... Uh, if they don't load, unload me today because I'll be staying anyway but tomorrow morning apparently um, they don't tip until nine o'clock <laughs> so bit of an issue because we've got a uh, we've got other stuff planned for the, for, for the tomorrow right I don't think I can go right at this roundabout I think I've got to go left at this roundabout Can we go? Yeah, we can go. Yeah, I've got to go left at this roundabout. That's bus is only there, and we've got to turn around at this roundabout to go where we want to go. Uh, the sat nav was originally taking me through what was a HGV friendly route, supposedly, because there was no weight limits, but it was actually church lane. Anything with lane and church in is not good. And uh, so I looked on Google Street View, and it turns out correct not good <laughs> I don't think I'd get around one of the bends so we are going a different way that the sat nav wasn't liking and that's because there is a weight limit I think we've got to go past houses as well but it does say except for access on street view and we need access but where we're going you know we're, we're actually going to the marina <laughs> which is a tourist place so it's not going to be exactly HCV friendly anyway let's be honest we want to go left here Trailer is definitely going to go on that curb. No, nope, we just missed it. Oh, just missed it. So yeah, we want to go down here, Soppers Lane. And then we want to take a left down here uh, onto or into a weight limit. Um, but it, on Street View, it says except for access. So we'll see what the street signs say in a sec. As long as it says except for access. I'm going through it. I don't care. Uh, I need access. <laughs> there are cars behind me as well. Car coming around this corner. Gonna start indicating. Yeah, it does say except for access. Thing is, every time I say it, except for access, I'm actually giving Tom a shout out. Tom, Tom is a mate of mine who has a channel called Accept for Access. Uh, definitely recommend you go and uh, give him a cheeky subscribe. But yeah, this is a weight limit, but uh, it looks a lot better than the alternative route. <laughs> Much better. The alternative route was a single one-way lane with a very tight 90 degree bend with buildings on the side. Uh, this, <laughs> this looks a lot better. Right, want to go right here because there's a car park. There's supposedly 87 car park spaces, which bodes well. And here we go.
this is where we want to be. Is that a curb? Yeah, that's a curb. I'm not sure where in this car park we want to park. Right, I am in the right place, kind of. I just went and spoke to the customer. He wants me to nose in to where their gates are, and then my mate can come in next to me. So uh, we've just got to spin around. Yeah, so the guy is still here. Uh, obviously, it's too late to uh, to get offloaded today. So he's just asked me to uh, to pull up alongside this fence and park behind his vehicle. Obviously, leaving enough room for him to get out. And uh, and then Dave will come and park up next to me when he uh, when he gets here. I'm gonna find out where he is in a sec. But yeah, I'm going to park up here next to all the boats. My back door's open as well, so uh, people can see that I'm, you know, delivering boats. <laughs> Apparently it is a council ran, this car park, but um, he reckons I'll be all right uh, because it'd be obvious I'm delivering here and he said he's going to be here for eight o'clock. Happy days. So, that's me done. What time is it? It's half past five almost. Um, I actually started at half past five, so nice 12 hour shift. Not too shabby. I'm going to go for a walk in a minute. Uh, I'll probably take my phone with me and my, and my torch and uh, we'll see what's about. Lots of boats around here. <laughs> see you in a bit. Do not break the speed limit of four knots. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, where we parked up for the night. You can't see where I am. I'm, I'm literally just around the corner. Uh, but yeah, this is it. This is home for the night. I expect it looks quite nice here during the day. Lovely. Got a children's uh, children's splash park here. Look. Apparently, my uh, my girlfriend's been here. So she said before. Gonna try to keep the pace, but someday we will find. That the world has changed but we stay true to each other I will always be there for you whenever you need my help I'm taking my time to be your Okay, so it is morning. We are still here at the River Shack in Christchurch. Uh, it's a very, very cold morning. Uh, I'm ready to go. Truck is warming up. Side is open. Uh, Dave's doing the same to his over there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this 
this uh, car park is proper icy and I've fallen over nearly twice. I haven't actually fallen over yet, mind you. But uh, I have nearly fallen over and it's so cold. My hair's quite messy as well, look. Look at that. I'll have to sort that hair out in a minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's lovely, lovely view, look. Lots of boats about. Church just behind me, can you see it up there? That's ringing most of the night, but can't really hear it from, from here. But when you're outside in the traffic, you can. But yeah, the, 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 the river itself that's here is really nice. Loads of boat. Yeah, yeah, we're just uh, just waiting to be uh, offloaded. It's quarter to, it's quarter to eight in the morning. Uh, Matey Boy said he was going to be here at eight o'clock, so we're just getting ready for him. I better go sort my hair out. Look at that. <laughs> right. See you in a bit. Hey, good morning boats are off as you can see well as you saw uh, Dave's in front of us <laughs> not quite sure he's in because uh, I just spun around <laughs> where I was come around this way there you go Dave let's get a couple of things ready before we go that's uh, charging up cool I'm not entirely sure if Dave knows, well, he said he doesn't know where we're going, so. Well, he knows where we're going, but he doesn't know the, the company name. I think he's me. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not 100% sure where we're going, so he wants to follow me there. We've got to go to Southampton. Left. It's bloody, bloody cold this morning. I'll tell you that for nothing. Where's that bath taking me? Pretty sure. Yeah, we want to take the left here. We're not going straight over. Someone just crossing the road. We're out looking. Excellent, hey. Yeah, so those two boats come off. Uh, what time is it? It's 20 to 9. Uh, they got there about 8 o'clock, so uh, the boats come off, which is good. Happy days. Um, they're actually on social media as well, so I tagged them in the post on social media. They're, they're a while up for that. <laughs> Sadly, telling me to turn right. Give over. I'm not turning right. That is a house and estate number. <laughs> Lights are on. Right. So yeah, um, what we've got to do now is we've got to go to Southampton and get loaded with um, uh, roof tiles, I believe. What are you doing? Oh, are you st stopping for that car? I thought he was just going to stop there and uh, let me out there, not realising there's a car coming around the blind corner. There's a car coming around the left. Two blind corners, both sides. Gonna go slow for Dave, make sure he's out. Yes, he is. Happy days. Yeah, so we're gonna make our way to Southampton now. I'll see you when we get there. Uh, and then we've got to go to Aylesbury. And then that'll be it. Last delivery for the for the year. Not for the day, but for the year. So um yeah, I'll see you when we get a little bit closer to Southampton. Hopefully it's a bit sunnier as well, because it's a bit icy coldy. Coldy? A bit icy, cold and misty out. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right, ever so slight change in plan. Uh, we're not going to Southampton now to get loaded with slate for Aylesbury. Uh, we are now heading to Basingstoke, actually we're in Basingstoke, uh, where we've got to get loaded with pallets, we've got to take it back to Bladegrove and Swindon. So actually, if anything, it's a little bit better, because uh, assuming that's it for the day, we'll be finishing earlier. So, um, yeah. 
hopefully <laughs> hopefully we ain't got to do anything else after that <laughs> i mean we'll find out but yeah we've got to go pick up some pallets from sainsbury's rdc in uh in basingstoke it actually says on the paperwork uh sainsbury's xpo what lane do we want i'm gonna take up both these lanes because i'm not sure what lane i think yeah i think i need the left lane yeah left lane um yeah it says sainsbury's xpo um and there is an xpo building and a sainsbury's building so it's two separate buildings but it says sainsbury's first so i'm going to go to sainsbury's first uh also they've got a gatehouse by the looks of it um so yeah we'll um we'll be able to go to the gatehouse speak to the guy on the gate give him a reference and he can tell me where to go that's the plan excellent what we want to come off here this doesn't look right this doesn't look right yeah this is right <laughs> there's things we look down there right where do we want to go because I believe there's an XBA building on the left deliveries RRU yeah, it's the RRU I want. RRU left. Okay, we're going to go left because it does say XPO RRU basis though. So we're going to, I was going to go down there into the RDC, but it does say RRU on the paperwork and they've got a load of blue pallets there. Look, happy days. Are they loading all these trucks? Safety helmets to be worn. That driver there isn't wearing one. It says stop here and report to office, so that's what we do. Right, I suppose I better put a high vis on. Lights off. There's a there's a Hawkins truck over there as well. I'm gonna uh, assume he's also got to get loaded with pallets. I'm not sure. Right, see you in a bit, I'm gonna go speak to someone. Right, these are the pallets. Well, there's some of the pallets. We want just the blue ones. Luckily, they've already sorted over there. <laughs> so the blue ones are going on, uh, going on to the, the truck now, look. Happy days. Right, finally loaded. That took a lot longer than I was expecting. Ooh, it's cold outside as well. It's half past 11. Half past 11. And we've been sat here for at least an hour. An hour and three minutes. Ah, but we're loaded. We're good to go. Gonna take that a little bit sharper. Uh, so now we've got to take... Now, we, now we've got to take these to Swindon. Uh, uh, Bladegrove Shep Pallets in Swindon, to be precise. It's a bit... Is this a one-way system? Is that now it's time to go left? Nope, there's an arrow there. There's an arrow on this side, so I like, can turn left, so, okay. Yeah, uh, it's a bit hit and miss. Oh, hang on. No entry. Surely I can go that way. Yeah, I can go that way. My sat nav is proper telling me to, to go left. Yeah, I can go this way. Well, I am going this way, so. <laughs> Shep in Swindon. It could be hit and miss. Uh, I've been there three, four hours, majority of the time. Last time I was there, I was in and out in 45 minutes. So I'm hoping it's one of them today. Uh, and also, it's Christmas. Well, uh, it's New Year's Eve, sorry. So I'm hoping it isn't going to be that busy so we can get in and out. The reason being is because we're not done after that. We've got to go to Tetbury, get reloaded, ready for Monday morning. It is true what they say, there is no rest for the wicked. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna gonna head to uh, Swindon now. Should be there in about an hour, I think. What's that now say? Well, it says just over an hour, hour and 12. So we're gonna head straight there and uh, I'll see you when we uh, are there. See you in a bit. Okay, uh, I just need to level up the suspension. There we go. 
steering wheel down, drive, handbrake, mirrors. We're good to go. Better take that off. <laughs> Don't really want to be driving with that on. Uh, sunglasses. That's what we need. Sunglasses. Right, so that's the last delivery done of 2020. It was a full load of pallets. Um, yeah, last delivery. So all we've got to do now is go and get some uh, bulk bags, I'm assuming. Maybe some pallets of uh, manure, <laughs> fertilizer and uh, topsoil uh, from uh, Tetbury. And that's going Monday, somewhere in Derby, I think. Is it Derby? 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 I get confused. I think it's Derby, but it's spelt Derby, I think. <laughs> but that's, that's happening on Monday in the new year. That'll be the first delivery of 2021. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, the last delivery of 2020. We've just got to go get our collection now. Uh, we'll be there for about two o'clock this afternoon. Um, it's only 20 past one now, so we're not going to be too long before we're there. Get loaded quickly, hopefully leave by three and uh, be in the yard for half three, probably. Nice, maybe four. Let's say four o'clock. Yeah, I imagine we'll be back by four. Hope so. It gets dark by then. <laughs> right, let's go get loaded from Tetbury. See you in a bit. Okay. Turns out I've made a small mistake. Sorry, boss. <laughs> um, so, it turns out I don't actually need to get loaded out of Tetbury. Uh, I am done for the day. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, but I read the messages. Uh, Get loaded from Tetbury for Monday, but actually it was load at Tetbury on Monday. So uh, yeah, that is <laughs> that's it. Oh God, what an idiot! Well, 2020 ended well then. <laughs> oh deary, deary, deary. Yeah, so we don't have to get loaded now. Um, for, uh, for well, that was it basically for the end of 2020, uh, delivering in Shep. So I've actually just wasted a bit of fuel to get here. Oh dear, never mind. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Feel like an idiot now. Absolute idiot. Alright, well, that's me then. That's me for 2020. Ended it on a bang, so to speak. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Ooh, nice motorbike. Yeah, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Thank you for watching me uh, throughout the whole of 2020. It's been a. Uh, an eventful year, obviously, uh, for those of you who have recently subscribed. Uh, I left my previous full-time employer Christmas Eve. Um, and I didn't have a job to go to in January. Um, I literally was unemployed for quite a while. Uh, in January come, I was actually promised a job by someone. I'm not going to say who, but I was promised a job by someone out of the same yard. Opposite where I used to work, actually, at JK Transport. Uh, and they kept saying, yeah, 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 January, January, we, yeah, 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 we get you. Never came, never came. So he uh, he annoyed me a little bit, to be honest with you. I did, uh, I did a few days' work here and there for a few companies on the tippers, some agency work, until I found a job with Earthline. I want to thank Earthline massively. They don't know how much they helped me out in 2020. Um, they took me on just before the pandemic, literally just before the pandemic. Um, and had I have been put on furlough, which I wasn't, but had I have been put on furlough, um, then I would have had money coming in from, from Earthline. But if I didn't find that job, if they didn't take me on when they did, I would have still been unemployed. I probably wouldn't have had a job. I wouldn't have had any money coming in. And my girlfriend was forced to shut down her business as well. So we would have been really, really stuffed if it wasn't for Earthline. So a big 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 shout out to earthline um they don't know just how much they saved our bacon in 2020 um even though i was there for only half a year those those six months really you know helped bring in the money so i am grateful to earthline and then of course of course harry and sons uh, you know my boss darren i've i've known him since i was a kid he used to babysit me you could argue he's still looking after me <laughs> so i want to thank you uh, say thank you to my boss darren uh, I want to say thank you to the owner, Ian, Harry, hence the name Harry and Sons. He's the owner. If, Ian, if you are listening, uh, thanks for, uh, for taking me on, as well as Darren. And then I'll also say thank you to my two colleagues, uh, Andy 
and um, Dave, who I've been working with over the last couple of days. Big thanks to them. And I say thanks to the new guy coming on, as far as I'm aware he's coming on, uh, who, <laughs> who happens to also watch my video, so I know he will be watching this. So that's you, Craig. Um, hope you've had a good uh, good Christmas and a good New Year. Hopefully we'll be seeing each other a lot more in January. But yeah, um, just want to say a big thanks to all them uh, and you guys who watch all my channel, uh, all my videos and my channel. Uh, without you, um, you know, I wouldn't get as many views as I do. Uh, I wouldn't be as popular as I am if it wasn't for you guys who, uh, who watch my channel. Um, I would still make the videos. If none of you watched, I would still make the videos because I enjoy doing it. But I am very, very grateful that there are 40, what, 43, 44,000 people subscribe to this channel and watch my content. So thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Hope everyone's had a good Christmas. Hope everyone has a happy new year. And I will see you... Well, I was going to say I'll see you in the new year, but actually this video is in the new year. So hopefully you're having a good new year already. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.